Have you ever wondered how safe you are when flying in an airplane? The answer lies in the continuous advancements in aircraft safety, a field dedicated to ensuring your well-being above the clouds. Since the dawn of aviation, the industry has come a long way in improving the survival rate in case of accidents. From the design of the aircraft to the materials used, every detail is meticulously planned and executed to protect the occupants. But the journey doesn't stop here. As we speak, the aviation industry is continuously evolving, researching, and developing new methods to enhance your safety. So let's dive into the world of aircraft safety and explore how it has evolved to protect us. What exactly does crashworthiness mean in the context of an aircraft? Well, it's all about the ability of an aircraft to protect its occupants during an unfortunate event of a crash. This protective quality is a crucial factor in aircraft design and development. It's not just about creating a vehicle that can fly, but also one that can crash in a way that maximizes the chances of survival for those on board. Key components contributing to crashworthiness include seat design, cabin materials, and structural integrity. The seats, for instance, are designed to withstand high-impact forces, thereby reducing the risk of injury to passengers. Cabin materials, on the other hand, are selected and engineered to absorb energy during a crash, further enhancing safety. Moreover, the structural integrity of the aircraft plays a significant role in crashworthiness. It's about designing an aircraft that maintains its structure during a crash, preventing penetration of debris into the cabin. It's also about ensuring that critical survival space for occupants remains intact. Understanding crashworthiness is the first step in appreciating the complexity of aircraft safety. It's an intricate balance between design, materials, and engineering, all working together to create a safer flying experience for everyone on board. Ever wondered how aircrafts are designed to protect occupants during a crash? It's all about the impact protection measures. These are features built into the aircraft to safeguard passengers and crew in the event of a collision or crash. Let's take a closer look at some of these features. First up, we have reinforced seat structures. These aren't just your ordinary seats. They're designed to withstand forces much greater than those experienced during normal flight. They're robust, sturdy, and engineered to absorb impact, keeping passengers safe during a hard landing. Then there's the use of energy absorbing materials. These special materials are used throughout the aircraft from the cabin to the cockpit. They're designed to deform or crumple on impact, absorbing the force of a crash and reducing the shock transmitted to the occupants. But that's not all. There's a whole host of other impact protection measures in place, from advanced airbags to state-of-the-art restraint systems. Each one plays a crucial role in safeguarding passengers and crew during a crash. These impact protection measures are a crucial part of aircraft safety design. They're the unsung heroes of aviation safety, working behind the scenes to protect us every time we fly. What happens if a fire breaks out on an aircraft? An alarming thought indeed, but rest assured, aviation engineers and safety experts have been tirelessly working on this very scenario. Key to survival in such instances is fire resistance, and that's where advanced materials come into play. Every bit of the aircraft interior, from the seats you're comfortably reclined in, to the overhead compartments storing your carry-on luggage, are carefully designed with fire-resistant materials. These materials are rigorously tested to ensure they minimize flammability and control heat release. Why is this so crucial? Well, in the unfortunate event of a fire, these materials can buy precious time. Time for the fire suppression systems to work, time for the crew to respond, and ultimately, time for passengers to evacuate safely. So, even as we sit back and enjoy the in-flight service, beneath the surface, an intricate network of fire survivability measures are working round the clock to ensure our safety. Fire survivability measures are essential in ensuring passenger safety during emergencies. How do passengers safely exit an aircraft during an emergency? It's a question that underscores the importance of efficient evacuation procedures in times of crisis. These procedures are meticulously designed and rigorously tested to ensure the quickest possible exit from an aircraft in an emergency. A crucial component of this process is the cabin crew. 
Their extensive training prepares them to guide and assist passengers during evacuation, turning potential chaos into a structured exit strategy. But it's not just the people involved, the aircraft itself plays a vital role. Exit path markings and lighting systems are installed in every aircraft. These features are designed to be clearly visible, even in heavy smoke or low light conditions, guiding passengers to the nearest exit. This brings us to the heart of the matter, time. In an emergency, every second counts. Efficient evacuation procedures aim to empty an entire aircraft in just 90 seconds, even with half the exits blocked. Effective evacuation procedures can be the difference between life and death in an aircraft emergency. And while we hope you'll never have to use this knowledge, understanding these procedures can help you remain calm and act quickly should the need ever arise. What is the best position to adopt during a crash sequence? This question is crucial for passenger safety during an aircraft emergency. The recommended brace positions are designed to minimize injuries during a crash sequence. These positions are not born out of guesswork or assumptions, but are backed by extensive research. Anthropomorphic test dummies, much like those used in car crash testing, play a pivotal role here. These lifelike dummies are seated in aircraft seats, subjected to crash simulations, and their responses are meticulously analyzed. This data helps us understand the forces exerted on the human body during a crash and to devise effective brace positions. For instance, leaning forward with your head against the seat in front of you, or bending over with your head on your knees, if there's no seat in front, can significantly reduce the risk of injuries. It's all about limiting the movement of your head and torso, thereby reducing the chance of impact with the interior surfaces of the aircraft. Remember, each aircraft might have slightly different brace positions based on its design, so always pay attention to the safety briefing before takeoff. Adopting the correct brace position can significantly reduce the risk of injuries during a crash. How are aircraft certified for safety, you might wonder? The answer lies in stringent crashworthiness certification standards set by aviation authorities. These standards underscore the aircraft's ability to protect occupants during a crash. They dictate everything from seat design and cabin materials to structural integrity, ensuring that every aspect of the aircraft is engineered with safety in mind. But what about when a plane can't make it to a runway? This brings us to ditching, the process of making an emergency water landing. Survivability in such scenarios is addressed through rigorous testing and simulation. Aircrafts are tested for their ability to float and passengers' ease of evacuation in waterlogged conditions. In a nutshell, these certification standards ensure that aircrafts meet the highest safety benchmarks, whether they're in the sky or bracing for an emergency landing on water. Certification standards ensure that aircrafts meet the highest safety benchmarks. Can we learn from past aircraft accidents? Indeed we can and we do. Let's delve into some real-life examples where crashworthiness played a pivotal role in saving lives. Consider the crash of Asiana Airlines Flight 214 in 2013. The Boeing 770-7200ER crash landed at San Francisco International Airport, resulting in numerous injuries and fatalities. Despite the severe impacts, the crashworthiness of the aircraft's design protected occupants, allowing successful evacuation. This incident underscored the importance of continuous improvements in aircraft safety and emergency response procedures. In another case, the brace for impact position, designed to reduce potential injuries during a crash, has been the focus of extensive research since the 1960s. This research has helped the International Civil Aviation Organization to develop recommendations for passengers to brace during a crash sequence. These incidents and the lessons learned from them have greatly influenced the design and safety measures in today's aircraft. Each accident provides valuable lessons that help improve aircraft safety. What does the future hold for aircraft safety? As we soar into the future, the quest for enhanced aircraft safety continues to fuel innovation and research. Technological advancements are reshaping the landscape of aircraft safety, with strides being made in areas such as crashworthiness, fire survivability, and evacuation procedures. Consider the development of impact-absorbing materials that are lighter, stronger, and more resilient. These materials promise to revolutionize the structural integrity of aircraft, offering increased protection in the event of a crash. 
Similarly, research into fire-resistant materials is yielding breakthroughs that could markedly improve fire survivability. Evacuation procedures are also being refined, with studies focusing on how to optimize cabin design and exit strategies to facilitate rapid, orderly evacuations. This research is particularly pertinent as aircraft evolve to accommodate larger passenger capacities. Indeed, designing future airframes to effectively manage the challenges of increased passenger loads is a significant hurdle. But these challenges are not insurmountable. They present opportunities for innovation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the pursuit of aircraft safety. The quest for improved aircraft safety is a never-ending journey. Let's address some common questions on aircraft safety. One question often asked is, how safe are modern aircraft? Modern aircraft are incredibly safe, thanks to continuous advancements in technology and stringent safety regulations. They're designed with crashworthiness in mind, meaning they're built to protect occupants in the event of a crash. Features like reinforced seat structures, fire-resistant materials, and efficient evacuation procedures all play a crucial role in enhancing safety. Another frequently asked question is, what happens during an emergency landing? In such situations, crew members guide passengers through specific procedures. Brace for impact positions are adopted to reduce injuries. And once the aircraft has landed, evacuation is initiated. The process is swift, often completed within 90 seconds, even in less than ideal conditions. Passenger safety on an aircraft extends beyond just the flight. It encompasses surviving the crash sequence, evacuating the aircraft, and surviving the post-evacuation environment. So the next time you buckle up on an aircraft, remember, a lot of research and technology is working to keep you safe. The more we know about aircraft safety, the more confident we can be when taking to the skies.